So in the winter time here on our farm, what we do is, is we put these plants right here inside for the winter. Usually we have this place next to our kitchen that's got a big window and that's where we usually put them. The muscadines stay out, but we do take in the sago palms, and the bird of paradise, and the aloe plant. And then we have a couple of those lucky bamboo plants that we bring in as well. So also, our cages, and this one is a, about to get covered uh, with its tarp for the wintertime months. So this is the first time we're covering it, but we're going to cover the sides and the back and just that very top part that is out in the weather. We're going to cover all that with a tarp, but we're going to leave this front open. We're going to also have these heat lamps for the really, really cold nights. Uh, so I think they're going to do just fine, and we're going to watch it. I'm going to keep, a, keep an eye on it. So let's take a walk out here. That's some more maintenance stuff I'm doing. So I had, took down that other cage that used to sit here that had the parakeets in it, and they got upgraded. So we got to clean all that up really well. And then I have just an aquarium heater stuck in the pond, and that's just to keep it from freezing, the top of it. Okay, so for the chucker cage, what we do is we cover the back. It's usually completely open. This side is always on here for wind protection. And then we cover this side with a tarp. And then she has a heat lamp in there. Let's see it right back there. Okay, and all our heat lamps are low watt appliance bulbs. They get next to it if they get cold. If they're not cold, they don't stand next to it. Okay, so the young rabbits get their cage almost completely covered. It's just lifted up because it's daytime. This is what it looks like down. It's just a tarp. We use feed bags too, which is just a tarp. Tarp material. And then this is the rabbits. Just a tarp. And this stuff gets covered at night. So we just put that down at nighttime, those tarps. Same thing with the grow out cage, except for in the grow out cage, they have a heat lamp. See it right back there. And then the coop. And they have one light. And I have an 80 watt spotlight bulb in that. So. And the reason I do that is because I don't like those heat bulbs that are like 250 watts and that's the lowest watt you can get those heat bulbs in. So I get an 80 watt spotlight bulb and it gives off a lot of heat. So that's what we do. And so all of those lights go to switches inside the house. We can turn them on and off in the house. And that's, uh, that's a nice feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and put up this tarp around this cage here.
Okay, I'm finished with that. So I didn't want to cut the excess off. It, it was like another 15 feet of excess and I just felt like that was a lot to waste. I just tied it up so that it could be re reused for something else or used on this same gauge. I didn't, I didn't want to cut that off. So that's why I left the excess on, but that's on there now. And like I said, we're not covering the front. We're just covering the sides, the very top and the back. And the heat lamps will take care of the rest. Okay, and here's some night footage to show what it looks like out here. Puts off a little bit of light. But we always have porch lights on anyway at night, so it doesn't really make it any brighter out here. And probably can't see into the flight gauge. But right out there is the grow out cage that you see the light shining from. And we'll go out there and look. I actually have a light in that pond too. I'm gonna hook that up real quick. The little waterfall light is working, so I got that on there. See that? Okay, there's the heater light also. On on the heater. So that is working. Here's the chucker cage. And she's still up in her little upper part but she gets cold there's her light she likes staying up in there now let's walk out here to the flight cage you're not going to be able to see very much here on the left the rabbits are all covered up but let's go over here and we'll take a peek at the grow out cage there they are like a couple of them are actually even up next to the light and then here is the coop see everybody's kind of doing their thing that spotlight is so bright I'd like to get a little red filter for that or something you can see all the pigeons and everybody is kind of in their daily spots female turkeys back there as well uh, it's very toasty in there so I feel good about it I think they're gonna do just fine and I can already tell the temperatures dropping it's supposed to be in the 30s tonight but I do believe that everybody is gonna be nice and warm so you can see the button quail are actually taking advantage of that bulb And over here I see there's one quail up here hanging out by the heat bulb. Nobody's even using this one over here, but I would imagine when it gets into the 30s, these parakeets will be huddled over here next to this one. And the good thing is, is if we get any storms coming or anything like that, I can always cover the front too. When we had just the one up here last winter, we uh, did cover the front occasionally, but not every time. 